Hey guys, what's going on? Darrell Addison, TorpedoPot.com. Darrell Addison, TorpedoPot.com. If you guys have been following us, you know that we've grown at least planters. I think each planter can generate in one month about one and a half pounds of radish. So we grew radish out of these planters and it was an enormous harvest. Uh, what we're doing now is that we're growing, guess what? Yes, peppers. And we have three types of peppers. We have banana pepper, we have the Hungarian pepper, I think we have one more, um, jalapeno pepper. We have all three of those. And dude, I am so excited about my crop. These are such beautiful plants. They're gorgeous. You know, I had problems when I was growing them. Let me tell you what happened. I, because the radish was such a good grow, and we were getting, like I said, 1.2, 1.5 pounds out of each pot, a planter. Um, such a good grow. And guys, you love those because you just throw your seeds in, turn it on, and every 30 days you'll have food at your, at your, at your, your door. Every 30 days, just rotate it. But anyhow, when I removed my radish from the planter, the biotic environment that that radish had picked up was so beautiful that a lot of the anthropods were just running through, the centipedes were just running through, we even saw some worms in the soil. It was amazing. When we removed those plants that were eating for those root systems and the root systems were feeding some of the bacteria, the whole ecosystem in the planter collapsed. And what we saw was that all of the living organisms that were inside that planter, these torpedo pods, they grow your food with no human intervention. And all I did was drop my seeds in and create this ecosystem. But when they collapsed, that all everything that was had life in it started to collapse and look for food. And so when I threw my seeds in, I took them out the next harvest, and I normally just have them running, and I normally do that for for a lot, but of my plants. But when I had them running, uh, after I threw my seeds in, then I um, realized that there was starvation in my plant. And these these bugs were the pill bugs, particularly were were just running around looking for food, and they were eating my plants, not my seed. They couldn't penetrate the seeds, but they eat the plants and so what I did in return was that when I throw my seeds in each one of these planters in other words it didn't happen to all of the planters that's why some are smaller and some look even bigger because the collapse only happened in certain planters not all planters but when that environment collapsed you had starvation taking place they started to eat the plants itself they only lasted for a short season I would say maybe about four weeks at the worst in about three pots uh, I'll say about, about two weeks in, in, in the, the pots. I wanted to go in and just starve them out, so I cut off the water in the planters. And, but I just dug down, turned the soil oil over, put the seeds in, and then uh, they started to grow again. And as a matter of fact, in most of these planters, I throw in about 100 seeds anyhow, whatever. Because when one planter is doing bad, I just remove seedlings from one planter and do it to the other. And that's why you have these plants here. That's why they're small. These are baby seedlings that were removed from one planter and put into another planter. And they're absolutely beautiful. It's like all three of these planters right four, they're the same type of pepper. And all I did was remove one and put them in the other and they're growing perfectly. Not one plant has any brown on it. There's no brown tips. Peppers are very healthy. The root system is amazing. Torpedo pot is an amazing growing system. If you ever get an opportunity to eat healthy food, to live healthy, to be healthy, you need to get a torpedo pot. No question to that. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've gotta pick some peppers. All right, so, all right, they're not ready, but man, they look so tasty, dude. And I grew so many of them, so missing one or two or three or whatever, it's not gonna make much of a difference. But what's so good about the pepper plant is this. You can practically eat not only the pepper, but the leaves are also edible. So as many parts of the pepper that you can eat and the tomato plants that you can eat, but you need to do your research and look that up, okay, in your region, in your area. So many varieties of tomato plants and so many varieties of peppers. It's going to be even more now because torpedo pot is gonna give you control over your seeds. You'll have more seeds than you ever had before. So anyhow, I gotta come and pick some peppers. And so let me go out here and, uh, well, let's take a look at this one. Bananas. 
I think this is the second pepper I've picked off so far. Look how perfect this is. So Peter Pot is no joke. We don't mess around. We mean business. We create real food. Real food. You don't see any flaws. You don't see any blemishes. This is perfect food. Perfect, guys. In every way. This is part of its genetic inheritance. The true genetic inheritance is being shown right now in front of us. That's the expression. The expression. And it's amazing. Now let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. I love peppers. I love them. Mm. Mm. Edible, acceptable, not fully formed, not ripe, uh, totally, excuse me, every stage of this plant is ripe. But what I meant was that um, it didn't go through its full life expectancy. You eat it. If you're eating for nutrition, grow food that you can eat throughout its life cycle. Don't grow food where you only eat one part. Unless you're going to use the limbs and leaves for something else. But try to do that. You'll, you'll be successful. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I got one more pepper to pick. I saw some jalapenos in there. And I'm going to just drop that. You know what I mean? Uh, I got some uh, hibernero. And I want you to take a look at this one also. This is beautiful. <coughs> Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That's beautiful. That's like so unreal, man. So unreal. Dang, man, that's beautiful, guys. Not a blemish, not anything. Even down to the tips, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of fruit. Man, beautiful piece of fruit. Absolutely beautiful. That's torpedo pie. We make self-growing planters that grow your food for you all the time. Perfect. That's what this is. This is an experiment that has taken off and will bring dividends for futures to come. Daryl Addison, torpedo pie.com. Daryl Addison, torpedo pie.com. Come for the party. <laughs>